We are all well aware of Hollywood's glittering atmosphere, where superstars wear the most stunning gowns and awe fills the room as they stroll down the red carpet. Now think for a moment a scenario so unexpected occurs that everybody is left shocked. That was the case in this year's Oscars, and it featured none other than the legendary actor and athlete John Cena. Now, you would know about John Cena's strong character and his thrilling film performances. However, none expected his move at the Oscars. It was daring, it was concerning, he was completely nude. John Cena is a highly regarded Hollywood icon. Why would he do anything so absurd? Everyone is wondering that as they attempt to take in this unexpected move. Was it a form of disregard, an advertising ploy, or just a stroke of hilarious talent? So in today's video, we are going to talk about this. Let's get started. John Cena, wrestler, actor, and humanitarian. John Cena, born on April 23, 1977, has become a household name in professional wrestling and Hollywood. Since joining the WWE in 2001, he's claimed 16 world championships, solidifying his place as one of the sport's greatest legends. Starting his wrestling journey in 1999 after switching gears from bodybuilding, Cena rose to fame on WWE's SmackDown in 2002 with his trash-talking rapper persona. Beyond the ring, he's made waves in acting, starring in hit films like The Marine 2006, and earning praise for his roles in Trainwreck. 2015, Ferdinand, 2017, and Bumblebee, 2018. He's even ventured into significant franchises like Fast and Furious and The Suicide Squad, shining as Peacemaker. A versatile talent, Cena also dabbles in music, releasing the You Can't See Me album in 2005. Noteworthy is his commitment to philanthropy, particularly with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, where he's granted over 650 wishes. Raised in West Newbury, Massachusetts, Cena comes from a sports-oriented family with English, French-Canadian, and Italian roots. Despite facing challenges like bullying, he found solace in weightlifting and excelled in football during college at Springfield College, graduating with a degree in exercise physiology in 1999. This year's Academy Awards marked a significant shift in Hollywood's spotlight, with Cena emerging as the dominant figure, overtaking the position previously held by Dwayne The Rock Johnson signaling a change in the landscape of Hollywood's muscular icons, a wrestling icon's impact, John Cena. From his early days as a white rapper character known as the Doctor of Thugonomics, to his transition into a patriotic military figure, Cena's in-ring style and persona have evolved over the years. He's renowned for his signature moves like the Attitude Adjustment and the STF, which he adapted to fit WWE's shifting policies. Cena's heroic character, adorned in jean shorts, sneakers, and an array of t-shirts featuring his catchphrases, has made him a fan favorite throughout his career. Beyond his wrestling prowess, Cena's recuperative abilities and functional strength have earned him respect from peers and fans alike. His fashion choices, often reflecting hip-hop culture or military themes, have also become iconic within WWE. Cena's legacy extends beyond the ring with fellow wrestlers and industry insiders hailing him as one of the greatest ever. WWE Chairman Vince McMahon even likened Cena to the Babe Ruth of wrestling. With record-breaking events like WrestleMania 108 under his belt, Cena's impact on the sport undeniably solidifies his status as a true legend. Beyond the ring, John Cena isn't just a wrestling superstar, he's made a name for himself in Hollywood and beyond. From his debut in WWE Studios, the Marine, to his recent roles in blockbuster hits like F9 and The Suicide Squad, Cena's filmography reflects his versatility as an actor. But his talents don't stop there. Cena has also made guest appearances on popular TV shows like Psych and Hannah Montana Forever, showcasing his comedic chops and charisma. Additionally, Cena has ventured into the music industry, releasing his debut album, You Can't See Me, and collaborating with artists like Wiz Khalifa. Cena has hosted award shows and reality TV series outside of entertainment, and even appeared on Saturday Night Live. With his multifaceted career, Cena continues to captivate audiences worldwide, proving that he's more than just a wrestling icon. He's a true entertainment powerhouse. A nude appearance and a nostalgic nod to Oscar's past. Do you remember John Cena's surprise appearance at the Academy Awards? It happened during the part of the show where they usually honor technical achievements, and things tend to slow down a bit. To keep the audience engaged, the producers decided on a gimmick. 
Cena would present the Oscar for costume design while wearing a pair of Birkenstock sandals. It was quite the spectacle, reminiscent of a famous Oscars moment in 1974 when a streaker interrupted the show. Cena pulled it off perfectly, maintaining his wrestling ring persona, big, oily, and strangely endearing, with muscles that could make anyone feel small. He delivered some jokes effortlessly and pretended to be embarrassed about his nakedness, even though he probably looked better than most of the other guests. John Cena's bold stint versus Dwayne Johnson's lackluster appearance. Let's talk about the Oscars again. While John Cena stole the show with his daring nude presentation, Dwayne Johnson, also there as a presenter, didn't match up. He stumbled through generic lines about cinema being a global language before introducing the international feature category adding a weak joke about his co-presenter, Bad Bunny. It fell flat in the room and on TV, highlighting The Rock's dwindling influence in Hollywood. The truth is, Cena is now the hotter commodity, younger, more muscular, and yet to be worn down by too much exposure. His willingness to embrace risky bits like the streaker gag shows his brand is still fresh and flexible. With Cena on the rise, he's poised to snatch up all of Rock's roles shortly, the Hollywood wrestling stars. In the history of American entertainment, there's never been a time when two WWE wrestlers simultaneously ruled Hollywood. It's a bit like the wrestling ring itself, only one guy can be the champion at any moment. The first to try his hand at crossover fame was Hulk Hogan in the late 80s and early 90s, but his foray into movies was shaky. After some rocky relationships in the wrestling world, Hogan appeared in films like Rocky Thury as Thunderlips and Suburban Commando as Shep Ramsey. However, critics weren't impressed, with Roger Ebert bluntly noting that Hogan's acting range was limited, much like the quality of the movies he starred in. Let's talk a little about Hulk Hogan and The Rock as well. After a stint in Hollywood that didn't quite pan out, Hogan was back in the wrestling world by the mid-1990s, now mostly known for his reality TV appearances. Meanwhile, The Rock emerged as the lone wrestler with serious potential for mainstream success. Leaving WWE in 2004 after promising roles in movies like The Scorpion King and The Mummy Returns, The Rock soared to superstardom. He dominated billion-dollar franchises like Fast and Furious and the DC Cinematic Universe, earning praise for his charm and comic timing. There was even talk of a presidential run at one point. Lately, however, his movie career has hit a rough patch with flops like Black Adam and Jungle Cruise and rumors of backstage drama. With only a few films lined up for 2024, he's returned to the wrestling ring for WrestleMania, which feels like a step back from his Hollywood glory days. John Cena's rise to Hollywood stardom and Dwayne Johnson's stagnation. John Cena has stepped up to fill the void left by Dwayne Johnson in Hollywood, and he's doing it with flair. Cena's enjoying an incredible run, blending his nerdy charm with genuine vulnerability on screen despite his imposing physique. He wowed audiences in HBO's Peacemaker and stood out in 2023 with six movie appearances, including a memorable turn as Ken made in Barbie. His versatility sets Cena apart. Directors are lining up to work with him regardless of his body size. Take his upcoming collaboration with Paul Feig, known for comedies like Bridesmaids. The kind of unexpected pairing excites fans. On the flip side, Johnson's recent roles in disaster movies like San Andreas, Skyscraper, and Rampage have felt repetitive, keeping him stuck in the tough guy persona he's known for in the wrestling ring. It seems he hasn't pushed himself creatively in the same way Cena has. Dave Bautista emerges as a Hollywood contender, while John Cena eyes the ultimate prize. When you look at John Cena and Dwayne Johnson's Hollywood careers, they're not competing for the same roles anymore. Instead, another wrestler-turned-actor, Dave Bautista, is emerging as a serious contender. While he wasn't as famous in the WWE as Tina or Johnson, Bautista has made a name with roles in Marvel movies, Dune and Blade Runner. He's also taken on more artistic projects like Hayao Miyazaki's The Boy and the Heron and Rian Johnson's Glass Onion. They're sizing each other across the ring with the Hollywood title at stake. As for Johnson, he's taken a step back from the spotlight. However, one milestone remains for wrestlers in Hollywood, winning an Oscar, and Cena is on track for that achievement. Maybe it's time for Christopher Nolan to give him a call. After all, who wouldn't want to see a muscular Oppenheimer on screen? So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.